Okay, cool. Just making sure. All right. So, uh, to recap, you guys awoke from odd dreams and found yourselves in a new forest. You found a new party member in the guise of a dwarf cleric named Helia Iron Fist. You learned that the mists that are surrounding you within the forest will not allow anything to pass through more than a few yards. Since the mists only allow you to travel south, you go and then find a worn and wet road along with a man clutching a letter. Reading it, you find a vampire is terrorizing a woman named Irina. It's in a village called Barovia. You then head her to the howl of wolves and ran. Once you escaped, you guessed that what you guessed to be large wolves, you traveled for a few hours and came to a very large 200-foot statues next to an equally large gate. They opened for you seemingly as if something commanded them to. You reluctantly passed through the gate and came to the end of the forest. You continued on the road with heavy fog obscuring your vision in the distance. You found a village, which you suspected was the village of Barovia from the letter. Inside the village, you heard a wailing coming from the center of the village. Finding no one visible within the village, you tried to knock on a door only to find that either no one was answering or was present. You found the shop, and while you didn't buy anything, you learned that the place to search was the church. You found the tavern was also open and met a man named Eastmark. He revealed himself to be the brother of Irina and asked you if you could escort his sister outside of the sight of the devil, or who you learned is the vampire lord, Strahd von Zarevich. You asked to speak to his sister and to hope... To hope to help decide, help you decide if the quest is worth taking. Once you met with Irina, you found that her adopted father had recently passed away and had yet to be buried. She refused to leave Barovia until he was buried. You headed to the church to ask to preach the priest to help perform the last rites for her father so he could be put to rest. You heard screaming from the undercroft, which prompted you to question, question the priest about his son. Learning little, you re then received a book from him about hymns and last rites which gave you the ability to bury Irina's father yourselves. You headed back to Irina, performed the ceremony, and buried Irina and, uh, and Eastmark's father. Uh, then wanted to question the priest more, headed back to the church, found him missing, uh, found the trap door, which led to the undercroft. You found Doru, the priest's son, uh, who had been turned into a vampire. You failed to prevent him from escaping the undercroft, where the priest had kept him locked up for almost a year. Doru was so hungry that he went into the village uh, looking for easy food. He unfortunately found Doru inside the tavern, having drained the blood from one of the Vistani owners. You fought Doru within the tavern, with Bramble electrifying him with a witch bolt. Donovich, the priest, found you and realized his deception was over. He explained to you that his son had died in a failed attempt to fight Strahd over a year ago, when a mage from beyond Barovia attacked him, uh, him being Strahd. Uh, Doru had then returned as a vampire, and Donovich had caved and began feeding villagers to his son. Uh, Donovich forced Billy to kill him with his magic pistol, and you returned to the town to learn the cause of a zombie outbreak that had been plaguing the village for weeks. You learned that a man named Dolan Niezakov was the last person to become sick, and his house being near Ismark and Irina's home. Oh. Any questions? I didn't know he knew who the last person to be sick was. Uh, Eastmark told you guys. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right there. That's his name, that's the location. Um. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys into the village. We also have uh, another person joining us tonight. Um, we'll see how that goes, but here you guys are at the village of Barovia currently, and you guys, uh, had talked to Matt and Mary and, uh, and learned some more things from her as well. So, um, first we're going to go ahead and introduce the new character here, uh, Frank or, uh, Joseph, uh, explain what you have been going through in the past. I would say about 10 hours or so. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, I was in a tavern and a... <clears throat> I was in a tavern just relaxing, enjoying life after having saved some people's... Uh, uh, where is it? 
some. If you look, on, if you look on yeah, the journal okay. uh, yes. below, your name is give me your notes, and that'll be a retelling of what I sent you. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't want to just necessarily. I'm gonna kind of put it in my own words. Right. Exactly. Yes. So, yes. But yeah, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting you to read that verbatim. Yeah, the door opened up, and a bunch of fog poured out of the door, and this kind of sus dude came in and was like, hey, uh, somebody needs your help. Uh, you didn't seem like a badass. And uh, bought, put down this huge uh, sack of cash and bought like literally everybody in the in the whole tavern a drink. And he's like, hey, go over here, help this person. There's this damsel in distress. And that's like your thing, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's my thing. So he's like, all right, cool. And then I headed out the next morning. I'm like, which way? It's over that way. And they're like, oh, you can't leave at night. It's too dangerous. So I left in the morning, and I found myself walking through some... I found myself walking through the fog, and then I found myself in this, a strange forest... That when it was, despite the fact that like it should be about noon, it's dark out, and now I just have come into town and I see some. Uh, uh you haven't gotten oh, to that part just yet. Okay, not that part. Yeah, okay. you you just got into town and you hear crying. Uh, well, you you heard crying and it's it kind of suddenly quieted down and got really doesn't start uh stop wailing, but you basically heard wailing as you were entering town. Which brings you to about where you currently are right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and uh, yeah, you can now uh, progress through the town. Each of these squares, big squares, are forty feet. To the tiny ones are twenty feet. Okay. Uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, for an out of character reason, I apologize. This character is supposed to be very like verbose and like jovial and stuff, kind of like uh, uh, uh. For those of you who played Hades, he's a lot like, um, what's his face that fights with the Minotaur? I've met him, I've, I've met that guy once, I haven't uh, yeah. played through Hades a lot. So, yeah, he's, but he's I, I very like, ha ha, and stuff like that, but I've been like terribly sick this week, so it's like, just it's, imagine he, he's it, very like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pretend he's jovial, yeah. and yeah. yeah, if you say, he says in a jovial tone yeah. and then well okay yeah we got it cool okay and also if i have to pause my mic and if that's i fine. like if i suddenly mute For myself coughing and stuff like that that's yeah. fine yeah yeah and i don't want to hear you guys have been a racking coughing thing. no that we get it appreciate it yeah it's all cool good. cool all also, right i'm back Vulcan. okay yeah i kind of gathered that yeah also rose says hi hey rose uh, she gone <laughs> but no yeah. okay <laughs> there and gone all right um mm -hmm. so yes he he's progressing through the town as well, and you guys are just now having left uh, uh, Mad Mary's house and are in front of her house currently. What do you guys like to do? You guys can. Uh, it's it's almost it's getting really dark. The mm -hmm. sun is almost set. Yeah. Um, and and you guys have a couple of options. You can go to the tavern. Um, see how, you know, they're dealing with what happened to them. You can go back to Irina and Ismark and see what's going on down there, or you can go to, uh, find, uh, D Dolan's house. Um, I would like to go um, find Dolan's house if someone, unless someone wants to go somewhere else first. Uh, hold on, let me find my notes. Give me a moment. I mean, if it's almost nighttime, oh, okay. should we uh, be bunking down? Yeah. You guys, it's 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 not exactly quite light, uh, dark yet, but it's getting there. Mm -hmm. Um, the, you guys have about maybe about thirty minutes to forty-five minutes left of daylight. Okay. Right. Would... What time? What time would it be? Like around five? Around no seven thirty. Seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, sunsets around eight o'clock. So you guys have a, I mean, it, the 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 sun will start setting closer, like. Cresting over the uh, the horizon or mm -hmm. uncresting over the horizon at about eight eight oh seven, and then you guys have about another t ten or ten or so minutes before the sun. Uh, there's no more light left um, mm -hmm. at all. You guys can't see the sun, obviously, but uh, yeah, it's getting really gotcha. close to being dark. 
it gets progressively darker. Correct. Okay. And uh, uh, the torches and and uh, and lanterns will have to come out here very soon, basically. Okay. I mean, we we gotta go to we gotta leave for Valaki tomorrow relatively early. So if we're gonna do something before heading back to is to Irina and Ismarks, we we gotta make it quick. I see uh, you're about there now, Frank. Okay. Now, I have my sword and my shield out and, because I heard like a big, a lot of shrieking and then oddly silence. So it it it, it it it's it's more like they they didn't like cut themselves. They just it got quieter and then they stopped, as if someone had calmed them down. My microphone came unplugged. That's probably why I sound bad. I, I mm. still hear you. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. There we go. Um, but you notice that uh, Joseph, this town is empty. There's no one walking out in the streets at all. Yeah, that's Doors are closed. You, you barely see any lights coming from stuff. half of the houses. Half the houses are completely dark and it's like they're abandoned almost. Um, Let's see. I want to make an insight check. Alright, what are you trying to gauge? Uh, Basically like how normal is this? It's like because it's like this seems kind of odd. Like it should be. I mean, I was all right. Dark, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead and roll an insight. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's very normal, but you've never been in this town before, so you don't know what normal is for this town. True. As far as you, as far as you can tell, this town is is maybe on on the verge of like a, a collapse of some sort. Um, and then you can see 60 feet in the dark. Yes. Cause I'm a tiefling. Okay. So. Like it's basically. Um, and the, oh, it's not even dark yet though. So yeah, you can see some light coming from over in this direction. Okay. Yeah. It looks like if I had to guess, I would say it was probably one of the main intersections of town. Yeah. This is, this is the main one for sure. All right. I will then I will begin heading that direction oh, I don't, yeah that direction i'll have my little pointer thingy on all right so the rest of you guys um you guys are wanting to find uh dolan's house you guys remember someone uh mad mary and eastmark telling you that it was on the southern side by um, eastmark's house uh which is southern side down here by eastmark's house. Okay. yeah huh. so so it's not too far then. Not no. I mean, this town isn't very big to begin with, but okay. yeah. Like you guys could make you guys can make it across town in about ten minutes, potentially. Mm. And that's and that's from the bottom end to the, to the church. Basically, it takes you about maybe ten minutes at either slow pace. If you're running, it'll take you very long. Mm. Okay. All right, everyone. Uh, what's your guys' passive perceptions? Really quick. Give me a moment. I know I have it on your 13. token, but you, currently your tokens aren't on the map just yet. 13? Yeah, 13 12. for me. 12. Uh, 12. My connection's been 12. interrupted. Give me one second. I think yours is higher, Cole. Mine should be 14, but I wanted to double that check. That sounds about right. I think yours is the highest. Passive perception. Yeah, yours is 14. All right. Oh, and Huckleberries is 13. So higher than, than uh, Brambles? Yes. That's nice. crazy. Nice. He does have a nose. <laughs> he, can, he can sense things a little better. All right, so you guys okay. see, you guys hear some jingling. Uh, actually, you don't hear some jingling. You hear some, like, kunk, kunk from, a, like, a heavy set of armor coming from the from the north. Okay. Clink, clink, clink. Clink, clink. I assume you're not being very stealthy. No. Uh, just a, okay. Yeah. So as you as you make it to that center of town, um, what's your uh, path of perception, Joseph? Uh, my hold on, I'm, not, I'm on the. I think it's 15. Four. Is that sound about right? Uh, it's pretty high. Yeah, it's 15. 15. Okay. Hmm. So you can hear people talking to the south as you as you get to where you're at, and then you start hearing um, this sound. I don't I don't have a sound to play, but I wanted to make sure I pull up my thing for it. Um where 
is it? Chapter 3 there it is. All right, so you hear the sound of small wooden wheels rolling across damp cobbles. This is from that story that I gave you. You trace yeah. the lonely sound to a hunched figure bundled, bundled in rags, pushing a rickety wooden cart through the fog. I'm going to move you guys to the uh, actual streets la layer so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay. A little easier, more detailed. And then I'm going to go ahead and you're already unlocked here. So I'm going to unlock these two. Whoops. Undo that one. Oh, there we are. All right. So, yeah, you're up here. Oops. Uh, yeah, you're up uh... here. You guys are down here in front of Mad Mary's house. Oh, oh that's crazy. Crazy big map. Uh -huh. Yeah, that map that I found two weeks ago, literally after the session was over, yep. is going to help me quite a bit here. Pretty cool. Uh, so yes, you see this old lady um, walking down the uh, walking down from the from the church area. And, is she going uh, to be struggling with the cart? No. Okay. The the cart's moving fairly fairly well. Um, uh, you roll me a perception check though, uh, for okay. smell. Perception, I'm pretty good at that. Oh, ouch. Uh, you still smell it, but, uh, for some reason you suddenly have a cold, uh, yourself. Like, your, your, your nose is really stuffy, but you still smell this really pungent, um, uh, fruity flavor coming from her cart. And you see uh, on her cart are a bunch of uh, a bunch of pies. Let me go ahead and show you what she looks like here. Uh, that one, that. Oh. Oh, okay. Pilot, oh, old ye old oh, pie, pie lady. Oh, yeah. okay. Shut okay. up! Don't no. Uh uh. Okay. I know you've read the book. Don't say anything. Okay, so a dwarf. I'm guessing. No, she's just a short, short little old lady. Like, you oh, know, okay. how, how late, how ladies get shorter when they get older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. They look good. The pies. Oh, God. Made of bombs. Shut up. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, well, as a being who is of fairly hearty constitution and who magically is immune to, uh, like, sickness and disease... Except for oh, the fact I'll... that he's somehow got a cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I'll head over. That's, I haven't eaten in a while. Yeah. I could use a I could use a mystery pie. Uh so go I... ahead and uh Bramble, um and specifically Huckleberry, since you have a better nose, go ahead and roll me a perception check as well. Wait, how far is this cart from us? Uh Wait. it's 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 as far as you guys can are uh, on the map here, so. So you just want Bramble, or you want both of them? Both of both of you and uh, Bramble and Huckleberry. Yeah, I mean it's pretty dark past. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's about it's about seven forty about now at this point. Wow. Okay. God. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah we can't see I, at least my on my end I can't see anything past this point. Yeah, I can't. Either. Past where? Here. Past here, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's because your torches. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. Because yeah, yeah. it's in the dark area. Got it. Okay. Oh, was I yeah. supposed to make that? Uh, well, the one. Uh, is it for hearing or smell? Uh, oh, yes. Very? So, so Huckleberry would have an advantage on that. Okay. I'll just click it again. Just click it again. Yeah. How did I make these icons? <laughs> nice. So, so Huckleberry. Is suddenly like food. <laughs> he smells food, and it smells really fucking good for him. Like Rubber. he's like holy. Suddenly, shit. somehow, even if even if he ate earlier, he's suddenly starving. Magically lifted off the floor by the pies aroma. Almost right. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was doing. starving. Uh, I was claimed to be always like starving. Like an old ramble. You ramble. You can't smell anything. Um. Probably because you can't smell anyway, right? I would say probably can. I just don't care about the smell of food because I don't care to eat. Okay, well, uh, you don't actually get the the aroma at all, period, though, is what I'm saying. 
Like, only Huckleberry is able to well, catch this Well, like, even if Bramble did notice it, that he wouldn't pay any attention to yeah, it. Yeah, got it. He might not realize he notices it. He right. just be like, whatever. So his, his mind just passes that by as unimportant, therefore he doesn't. Like, when you're looking for something... Not interested in the murder hobo lifting aroma right. of this pie. <laughs> so, uh, Joseph, you... you uh, approach the lady as she's walking on the car and she's kind of humming a little song <laughs> I, I will put away my sword at least so i don't like seem like uh too intimidating all right and i will take my i will take my 20 oh why can't i move myself uh you might be yeah all on... I, can, all I can do is ping okay you might um i could move myself on the other map i can't move myself here. no ah Nope, all Hold I can on. do is ping on myself. Let me see if this token is linked to you. It should be. Nope. That's weird. I get the little four-way crosshair thing when I put myself on them, but then I can't. How about now? Hmm. That's odd. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete you, and then I'm going to pull you back in. Ah. Uh. Oh, for a minute, for a minute there, Thanos. I was in the hoary abyss of nothingness. It was still can't move? <laughs> nope, still can't move. Um, I'm maybe on you're arrow. on, are you, are you on the arrow? Yeah, I'm on the arrow. And you're not like, in hands. Can, can every time you... I try to grab myself, it just pings. Uh, go to oh, your oh, gear. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I can, I, or is there I you go. Move? Yeah, you got okay. it. Okay, yeah, I can move me All now. Right. Okay, cool. All right. There we go. So yes, you you approach the uh, the cart. Yeah, I will approach the. I, oh, maybe what is it? I can maybe it's I can't go up for some reason. Weird. My battery's. Oh no, hold on a minute. My battery's running low. I feel my life. Ah, slowly. it's it's your it's your uh, mouse. Hmm. My life slowly ebbs away. <laughs> my life be like ooh. Wow. It's taking every it's taking every click that you make and making it a hard click. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Uh, Gotta love that. Lord. But my mouse board came unplugged, so now I have a whole new problem. Uh, 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 excuse me. There we go. You blasted yes. my ping with like, that. In here. Okay. Aha. There we go. Okay. Although for some reason, I, I like a bunch of spells and stuff come over me when I when I can't move myself up anymore. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, um, use your right click and try to drag the the map a little bit further down so that you're at your token at the bottom of the page and see if you can move up. Then ah, yes, that's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, got it. <clears throat> All right. With my uh, let me see, what should I be probably rolling for this? Uh, uh no need to roll. Just go ahead and. Okay. Yeah, with my with my you know hands devilishly handsome self, I'll come up. Greetings, Elder. I could not help but notice you have a fine selection of mystery pies here. I oh, myself hello! Oh, welcome, welcome to Morganta's mincemeat pies. How do we help you today? You look like you are hungry. I have walked quite a distance into your fair town, and am well met by your. Aroma, aromatic meat offerings. How much could uh, how much coin could convince you to part with one? Ah, well, these are very special pies. They uh, deliver you everyone from their woes and cares. Uh, so they do cost a bit of money. However, I will give you one free sample. But if you wish to just straight up buy one, they're one gold apiece. Ah. Uh. But well, they are worth the price for what they do and what they make you feel is, oh, it's heavenly. Well, I, for one, hate cares and woes. So I will give you uh, two gold coins, one for a pie and one for your charming company. Ah, uh, well, for that niceness, I will give you two pies. Oh. And she she pulls out one and it, it's hot. It's it's smoking. It's it's steaming. It's it's fresh. 
I nice. hot and ready. Hot and ready. Uh, you know, like Little Caesars. Yeah. Yep, and, I was, uh... yep, Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I said Little Caesars sounds good. Mm. It does. Especially the crazy does. bread. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, bread. crazy bread with with dipping sauce. With mm. I usually prefer the uh, 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 tomato marinara style stuff, but I can go yeah. for usually oh. anything. Or is it like? Size on my fist size, or is it like actual it, pie size? It's like pie size. You wow. get about, I think you get about ten slices total out of the thing. No, nice. um, let me let me double check. Yeah, it would um, should be about uh, what seven uh seven seven inch diameter, seven and a half inch. No, no, so, yeah, seven. Oh, yeah, no, normal so each, like size each, pie. Each pastry is worth four servings. Four nice. servings. Okay, so I am. Yeah, I four am servings. Set. Yeah, uh, so we, we, you'll have eight servings. Uh, now these only last for a little bit. After well, a ten day, uh, oh, you I'm call it ten sure. days, right? Uh, yeah, we I'll here probably... call them weeks. We have seven day weeks, but after ten days, they will not be good anymore. So make sure you eat it before they go bad. I'll probably eat this tonight. I'm a very hungry boy. Very well. Ooh. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys, where my. Where uh, might one go to eat said pie in this town? A tavern, perhaps? Uh, there's a tavern right up to the north, right behind me. Per exact, uh, uh, or behind her? Yes, she points over here. Okay. Well, yeah. then I shall go and attempt to procure some libations to go with these delicious pies. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh, you, guys could, you guys could hear this, by the way. Um, did you guys yeah. approach this while this is going on? Oh, is so... It? Huckleberry probably would have like. Did you see the movie Ratatouille? Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a while, but mm -hmm. yes, I have seen it. Ratatouille style tried to steer Bramble towards me, <laughs> grabbing hold of his, grabbing hold of his, uh, his, his sack and just pointing his head that direction. Yeah, go mm -hmm. this way. All right, so I'll move. I'll move the both of you guys up there. That's funny. <laughs> there's there's food, would, guys. The rest it of smells really fun. good. Like. Mm. Huckleberry's gonna take another deep smell and tell him exactly what it smells can like. Can I sm can I can I smell it from where I'm at? Um, from where you're at, probably not. But go ahead and roll me a perception check. Okay, give me a number. Perception. Here we go. You get the hint of the smell, like you can smell something, but you can't mm. place what it smells like. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you, do I know which direction? The uh, direction that Bramble's now being walking. Oh, towards. okay. Yeah, I'm like, I, I make it. Do you guys smell that? It, like I, I tell everybody on from on the party. Do you guys smell something? It's, I don't know what it is, but I smell it's something. It's pie! It's pie! Oh my gosh! It's... Yeah, Wait, Huckleberry. That Huckleberry? Screaming. That's Huckleberry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bramble's uh, just like whatever. I guess there's some food. Well then, I guess it's pie. All right, Huckleberry. What kind of pie is it? Do you know? Can Huckleberry tell if it's like a meat or a fruit pie? It's so I think mincemeat pie is actually fruit pie. Um, it's, it this smells is, fruity. This is what it looks like to you guys. Oh, to okay. Joseph specifically, yeah. So. That's raise the question. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to. A, it kind of looks not fruity, but that doesn't necessarily look like it has meat in it. Mm -hmm. Like a little, no, like, hint, like hints, like yeah. little little hints of meat, but mostly like what vegetables? Vegetables and I think those are might be peppers or fruits or something like that. Yeah, the, the, the recipes that I've looked at, the recipes that I've looked at online usually have fruit in them. It's dried okay. fruits and spices, typically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know a lot about mincemeat because I've never had mincemeat before. So. It's a savory yeah, yeah, me pie made with ground meat stewed mm -hmm. with fruits like raisins, cherries, apricots, and apples. Yeah. Ice so it does, it does have meat in it. Yeah. Okay. All okay. Right. Uh, gotcha. That gotcha. sounds really gross. Yeah, it, it it does, but apparently yeah. it's really good. A lot of people like it. I might have to make one sometime just to try just it. Try it, yeah. I wonder if it's like a storm. All right. 
Mm. So you guys start, in, uh, well, at least Bramble starts going uh, north. Um, Once we get probably about ten feet away from the rest of the group, Bramble is going to stop and wait for them. Mm. Well, I'm not particularly hungry right now, but I just I am I am kind of curious what that smell is. All right. I guess I'll check so it let's, out. So let's let's say for brevity's sake, you guys, since you guys don't like to split the party, want all head head north. Okay, sounds good. Oh, and Huckleberry will totally good. like do the you get the. the you guys get about there. Okay. And now you guys can see the old lady and this this uh. Well, Joseph, describe yourself. Well, uh, Joseph. Is let me go to bio here. All right, so uh, you me. will see a tiefling, probably about his mid twenties. Quite big for a tiefling, though. He's close to six and a half foot tall and at least two hundred pounds, with green eyes, light blue skin, and gray with green highlights in his hair and beard. Mm. He appears to be very physically a very physically imposing individual like he's obviously very stacked but i have to show you guys uh, morgan uh uh granny momo here's here she is okay uh, again what she looks like so she's a stout lady yes okay so you guys can see those two conversing and uh this tiefling buying two pies from her uh Well, now now we know where that smell is coming from. Oh, and um, and it's pretty smell? strong. You, you guys can all... Everyone that, that uh, can smell is smelling this now. Okay. Wow. can we? But can we see it? Like the pie. Uh, you can't see what's inside the pie, but you can see him, like, the pies on her cart. You guys can yeah, see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah. what I was asking. Can yeah, we see yeah. the pie on her you can cart? Side the peas on, you can see the pies on her cart, yes. Okay. Um, Where are they at? Up here to the north. Ahead. Yeah. Oh. You still so can't we... see that far? I can't see that. Yeah, I mean, far. I moved my port, so I saw it earlier, but from what if I move it back, yeah, we can't, yeah, we still can't see All it. All right. Let's move you guys a little bit further then. Yeah. About there. You see it now? I can barely, barely see it. I but can, yes. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, more or less. I'll move them a little bit further down. There. Better. Better. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move Bramble back a little bit because once it came into view, he would have like gone yeah. back to be close to people. Okay. Well then, I must be on my way. I thank you for your patronage, and uh, if you do want more, there's a windmill uh, to the west of here. It's uh, about a day and a half worth of trip, but you can make the trip, and uh, me and my sister, we sell these all the time. So, come on by, and we'll sell you more. I will mark it in my memory. Uh, it is growing rather late, though, my fine lady. Do you need any uh, assistance getting to where you were going before Oh, the no, I'm fine. I I can make it through these these uh, these areas uh, pretty well. You see, I've I've got the, uh, the Night Mother on my side, and she takes care of me. Well, then I will trouble you no more. A good evening. Uh, can we hear this conversation from where we're at? Uh, she's not really being quiet, so yeah, you guys can hear her. Okay. She starts walking towards you guys anyway, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> she she makes her cart about there, and she starts turning it. I will start heading towards that inn to find myself some libations to go with said pie. Because it was over here, you said? Yes, right over here. Alright. Now I'll start heading that way. Carefully not to drop my pies. Alright, so you walk over that direction. And Lady Lady Momo, old Lady Momo is walking on by. She she walks by you guys like, Oh, so many people in the, bro in the village tonight. Welcome! How are you doing this evening? 
It is getting dark soon. You might not want to stay out too late. Uh, Astra's just gonna go, the fuck? There has been no one in town acting like this. Oh, I, I don't, I'm not from uh, the village of Barovia. I'm, I'm from the uh, windmill to the west of here. About a day and a half trip. Is My it name is safe out there? For most, I've heard everything is, from for, wolves for to most, vampires. For most, it is not, but I have the, the Night Mother on my side, and she protects me on my travels. A, you said a windmill a day and a half away from here? Yes, yes. You just take Old Salus Road, and uh, when you come to the crossroad, you take the road south, and it winds through the forest, and then you come to a bridge, and then you take the bridge, uh, the path from the bridge, you come to another uh, fork, one leads towards the castle, another one leads towards some gates. You go through the gates, and about a half day travel from there, uh, you will find uh, the uh, windmill where we make these pies. Speaking of these pies, I am selling them. Would you like to buy them? Not sure if you heard my conversation with the uh, the strange devil-looking man, but I I sell oh, these you. pies. For one gold apiece, they are expensive, but they do lower your your uh, your cares and your woes. They make you feel better. Uh, what kind of pie are they? They're mincemeat. Mincemeat. I've yes, never yes, made heard with of love that. and care by three simple ladies. It is a secret recipe, but it's got all the things to make you big and strong. It can also take your cares away if you let it. What do you say? They're only one gold apiece. Uh, Grandpa will hold out a gold piece. Uh, ah, yes, the scarecrow money. would like one. I assume it's for your little friend in your hat. Yeah, you just get like an eye roll. <laughs> yes. So she uh, she hands you hands Bramble a pie. It's fresh. It's hot. It's it smells good. Yeah. For, I'm not there are four servings in there. They only last about ten days. So make sure you eat it before they go bad. Yes, Billy. Yeah, so I'm not particularly hungry, so I. They last I'll ten add. days. If you're hungry later, you will you will uh, love these. They are so very good. Tell you what, I'll give you a free sample, one slice for free. All right, what the heck? I'll I'll take. So, I'll take so this she cuts the slice out, and she hold, and she pulls out a plate from underneath her cart, and she puts the, the slice on her on a plate, and she. Uh, she has a fork somehow in there, and she uh, hands it out. Uh, do you... okay, I, I guess. I, I'm, I kind of, I kind of hesitate a little bit, you know, slowly extending my hand. And so, I, so, I, as, uh, as soon as you, as soon as your 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 hand is is grasping the plate, she lets go of it. Okay. Uh, can I make? Uh, would it be what perception or insight? What are you trying to with with insight? What would you trying to be discerning? I'm just trying to figure out like exactly like what's in this like. Wait, uh, so like, kind of just look, just kind of look at so it. Be, you know, it's like, more of like an either a, either a perception or investigation check. So are you are you kind of like looking it over very detailed, or are you just kind of glancing at it and kind of like. Using your your smells to see what's inside the pie. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just glancing and like looking around. All right. like Perce you know, perception check. Perception, okay. Because like I've Billy's never heard of um, minced meat pie before, so he did like he's changed. So kind of, kind so of you you kind of smell and look and, and see the the ingredients that uh, Huckleberry described to you earlier. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, they, did I roll with advantage? No, I did not. No, you did not. Okay. So you, you you get you you can kind of discern you can kind of smell what you know the, the fruits and the, and the raisins and the spices and the and the meat you can kind of smell those in it and you kind of see them in the in the pie as, as the filling as it's kind of slowly spilling out from the slice that she gave you. Okay, is it is it like there's like juices coming out or is it a kind not of not really juices I would say, but uh, you know it's 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 a fairly solid, but like all the innards are like you know because they it was held together by the pie itself. And it's kind mm -hmm. of oh okay, okay. yeah. Can they, think of it like a pot pie almost? 
but not oh, so okay, juicy. yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, but not so, so juicy. Not, yeah. So yeah, kind of like kind of like a shepherd, kind of like a shepherd's pie, but dry. yes, more more shepherd's pie. Yes, gotcha. Okay, okay. Now now I have a better visual. Yeah, not, okay. There's no potatoes in it, but yeah, shepherd's yeah, yeah. pie kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Um, I guess I'll take a bite. Like just like kind of like you know, like take a small piece and like nip. All right. Take, so take so you small you bite. you uh. Take a bite, and it's just amazing. It's so good. You, yeah. The the meat and the fruit and the spices, they just they, they blend together so well that it's like, it's almost the best thing you've ever had. Like, whoa. Yo. Roll, and you just scarf this thing down. You're like, this is so good. And you, you just eat the entire thing. Wait, Within so... I, I, I was only gonna take like a nibble of it, and I'm like, I'm like, right? Whoa. Well, you, you, you took like a forkful, basically, because okay. you couldn't get you couldn't get much less than a forkful on it. But you taste okay. it, and it's so good, and you just start eating this thing. Mm. Um, roll me a d8. A d8, okay. A d8. You gain five temporary hit points. So do I just put five on the temporary hit points? Correct. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I was like, "Woo, Nelly! That's the that's some good ass pie." <laughs> I don't know. Now, I don't know how to only, do that. Was, that was only one serving. I will sell you the rest of the pie for the gold that I offered you the first time. But you know, you've already had your free sample. So what do you say? Three more servings for one more gold. Hmm, let me. Th um, I'm, I'm pondering. I'm gonna ponder on this. I'm like, roll, hmm. roll me a. Uh, what's your passive insight actually? My passive insight. Yes. What's your insight modifier? Uh, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Give, give me a moment. So that would be wisdom one. Uh, my wisdom no, no, modifier you, would be one. Uh, uh, your your insight modifier. You don't, are you not a proficient in insight? No, I'm not proficient in insight. So then your so then your passive insight then would be uh, ten plus your wisdom modifier, which would be eleven. Yeah, it would be eleven. Okay. So yeah, so you you feel like this is so good that you almost have to have another uh, serving. You don't have to have it right the second, but you, like it's so good that you really want to to have more of this later. Have more later. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. I'm like, I know. I I said I wasn't hungry, but. That was some. That was a really good pie. All right, I'll, I'll buy one. I'll, I'll, I'll hand her a gold for the rest of the three portions of pie. Yeah, and she hands you the rest of the the, the pie, uh, tin. Like, oh, okay. So it's, it's kind of, so okay. So it's it's like it's, a, it's on like a tin or or like you know, uh, like a metal, plug, you know. Uh, what's it called? What like, you uh, aluminum. Alum, uh, well, it's not aluminum, but not, it's, not it's, aluminum. Yeah, maybe like a like a weak iron or a weak mm, probably. Yeah, tin maybe. Tin. Okay, okay. Yeah. Put a little lid on it. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right, so let me add that to my something, something that could withstand for... being cooked in, in an oven. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. so not like a wood or anything like that. Yeah, give me a. Moment. It says frisbee at the bottom. Weird. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> <laughs> um. So. While this is going on, yes, do I get the feeling I might be able to just kind of take one while she's you're, not you're cutting out? But I'll try to I'll try to understand you the best I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm cutting out again. Oh, damn it! Hold on. I'm like, yeah. okay. So I'm like, yo, you got yo, like you guys, you guys got to you guys got to try this. This is really good. Like, I, I kind of you know, kind of hand. I actually, I'm actually gonna walk back to the party. And be like, yo, you guys got You guys gotta try this. this All right, how, how am I doing now? I hear you fairly well. Okay, we'll see how long this lasts. Um. <laughs> yep. It now now I'm bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, good grief! It literally lasts at a second. Yeah. Um. Jesus. Actually, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Vulcan. Oh, uh, how, how much do this? Does this pie weigh? I don't know. If that matters, not nah, it doesn't really matter how much it weighs. It doesn't weigh all that much. Okay. Maybe half a pound at best. Okay. Right. My pie only weighs about a quarter of a pound at this point. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, Huckleberry's Huckleberry's eating 
Yeah. There's a food covered Huckleberry who will pop his head. Roll a d8 for Huckleberry. Uh, Huckleberry also gains five temporary hit points. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna attempt this again. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I, I can hear you. Your volume's fine. You're kind of cutting out, but I got most of what you said. Well, I'm going to. I I wanted to attempt, while um. Nope, I'm cutting out again. Maybe just type it out. Mm-hmm. Um, here. Oh, you know what? Just I'm going to go grab a sandwich right quick because you That's guys fine. keep talking about food. It's making me hungry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm going to buy one now that I think about that. All right. <clears throat> ah, yes, not worth trying yes. to steal one. Yes. You can buy one as well. One gold. Yeah. You hand her a gold. She hands you a pie. She gives you the speech again about how you know there's four servings. It's last ten days, and it makes you feel good. And and uh, yeah, you've got a pie. Granny Momo's mincemeat pies. Probably wasn't worth trying to steal it, was it? She would. I'm. Why is this still there? Okay. Uh, I mean, you could have attempted it, but I mean, it's only a gold. You have like 250 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's. I think it's more of the principle of just trying to steal one if you if you can get away with. I mean, it. I'm a rogue. It's my thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, All right, so you got a pie. Uh, Helia's not interested. Astra's clearly stated that she doesn't want any. All right, then. I must be on my way. And uh, she makes her way out of town. Yep, and I tip I tip my hat as she's as she's leaving. <laughs> Milady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she, she makes it out of town. She She heads off. All right, uh, yeah, you guys saw that tiefling head inside the uh, the tavern. Um, Here we go. And... Huckleberry, having made it through most of his pie, is gonna out for a, a roughly slice shaped piece to ask her and be like, "Want some?" I'm assuming Astra just kind of looks at it with a no face. You're, you're muted. If you're if you're safe speaking, you're muted. She did say she passed out earlier for a nap. Oh, she did. Yep. That'd be a rough. Thing apparently, to do you with did as well. Computer. Oh yeah, no, I took a nap and then I just kind of stayed passed out. One moment. She's not asleep because she's not boring. Okay, I'm here. I had to grab that sandwich. You guys are okay. To me. That's fine. Okay. All right. Well, while, while you guys are, uh, we're finding out what Astra, what happened to Astra. Um, Joseph, mm -hmm. you are walking inside of the tavern here. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go back here. We go. So here, yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and walk inside the tavern. The door is open, uh -huh. and you see uh, a, what looks like a bloodbath has happened in here. Oh gosh! You see a, a lady over here. Um, her her throat has been ripped out, blood everywhere, and you see a uh, fr frail, like skinny, bony um, creature or a man um, with his uh, head missing. Um, Is that, and that that thing right there? Yep. Okay. And you see uh, two ladies talking over here with a very. Uh, Emotionless uh, barkeep. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet in here. All right. 
I'll start heading over to the, to the table, be like, man, Wednesday nights in here are kind of rough, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, actually, it's funny you say that. Uh, when, when, what is this Wednesday you speak of? Oh, I, what did you do? Where did you come from? I, oh, okay. Uh, it's actually, uh, uh, they follow a different calendar than uh, even Faerun does. Uh, it's currently the month Octavar. Octavar. Uh, O-C-T-Y-A-V-R. I don't even know how you pronounce that. <laughs> um, and it is currently the ninth, uh, about 7.50 p.m. And it's the day of the week is... Hefto, H E T F O, Hetfo. Okay, but that's the yeah, day. Yeah, the days of the, day's yeah. the week. You can kind of see a calendar off to the side yeah. that describes that. This is what the, the gotcha the calendar looks like. Oh, you say you sit on the table and they kind of look at you, and they kind of like look at the barkeep. And they kind of like give him an evil eye, like hey, over there, new customer. And and the barkeep walks up to you. Hello, welcome to the Blood of the Vine Tavern. What would you like to drink? Uh, whatever you think would go best with this uh, delicious mincemeat pies, my good. We key. have either water or wine. Well, then wine then. Uh, I forget what the price is. Give me a second. I want to say it's a silver per glass. It's silver or two. I forget. I, I That sounds about right, but let me double check. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, one copper for a glass, one silver for a pitcher. Uh, poor me. All the peers that I seem to have is gold on me. Will you take that instead? He takes your gold and he hands you uh, nine silver and nine copper. Okay. The copper and the gold that he hands you looks a little different. You don't recognize the faces on it. Uh, you're also used to a different type of currency. Yeah. Um, Uh, he looks have... at him a bit. He looks at him a bit oddly, and he says, "I don't suppose the phrase the Western Heartlands means anything to you, does it?" These faces are on the coins. Ah, gotcha. And then he walks back over to uh, the two ladies, and uh, they they separate. They walk into shit. Which bill, uh... Yeah, they they walk past you over here. And they walk into. Oops. There we go, Helen. Into this room over here. Actually, no, I'm probably sit there. And he walks back behind the bar. bar. <laughs> All right. I, before he goes, he says, I don't suppose the phrase the Western Heartlands means anything to you. He doesn't respond. He, he, he starts cleaning glasses. Okay. Yeah. The, the, clearly that fog must have uh, waygated me somewhere else, because last I was in, I was going to see my Uncle Flint in the Western Heartlands. And so that's where I... So this is clearly someplace completely else, because I've been... My mom ticked me around everywhere when I was young, and I haven't seen any coin like this. He just keeps cleaning the glasses, ignoring uh, what you're saying. Well, yep. Can you turn my Go ahead, Cole. back on? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I will sit there and eat my pie and drink Your lantern my is not working. Wait for someone else to show no, up. I had to reload the page, and all of a sudden, I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, scroll down to the middle or so. No, I can click on it. I just I can't see anything beyond my character himself. And I'm hoping it's not another issue. Don't see these pings. 
I saw the pings. Can you see? Oh, there we go. That worked. What? What just? What? Whatever I did. That. Can you see now? Yeah, I see now. That's weird. Okay. All I do is move your token around. Hmm. Maybe that's all I needed to have done then. My bad. All right. Cool. Uh, it's Joseph. Uh, yeah, you're you're uh, talking to the air. It seems Eric is not responding to you. The barkeep. Well then, I will. Uh, like I said, I'll. I will eat my pie and drink my wine and wait for something more interesting to happen. So you start you start drinking the wine, tastes okay, um, and then the uh, uh, the pie is amazing, best pie you've ever had. And then go ahead and roll me a d8. So how um, do I do it? Just say roll d8. You can you can do slash roll and then d8, or you can do slash r space d8. Either way works. Yeah. Roll base D eight. Two. You, you gain two me. temporary hit points. Excellent. By the twin axes of Clagan, and this the best pie I've ever had. All right, so you are eating your pie. Everyone else is outside here. Well, Kelia says we have two choices: we go and see what that new stranger is about. Because we've never seen him in town before. Or we head down and we find out where the uh, the zombies are at. I mean, we haven't really seen anybody in town before. But have you seen any tieflings or dwarves or elves in this town yet? All we've seen are humans. No, I suppose not. Maybe we should see what this stranger is about. Plus, his shield. That man's shield had Lathander's symbol on it. A what? A what? Lathander. Uh, uh, yeah, Lathander. The hell is that? Oh. Uh, the I Morning Lord. I what that is. Oh. Right. The and with that, I think Lord. I start following him. So you guys, you guys start walking in towards the the tavern then. No, yeah, what the heck? Why not? Astra and Helia, do you guys, or Astra and Billy, do you guys follow? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Don't forget, Don't forget to bring a torch. There you go. Yeah, I kind of need that. <laughs> no, Uncle Barry, you have to come with me. You can click on each token and uh, hold shift and click on the second token and it'll move them both at the same time. Yeah. Okay. I just want to move them both and then Huckleberry decided to stay behind. Ah. Is that dead body still just laying there? Yeah, yes. Over. Holy shit. They haven't moved her, huh? Both, both dead bodies are still just laying both there. Both dead bodies are still there. The the, the two Bastani ladies, they, don't, they, they can't lift up that either body. And Eric is mindless. He's just yeah, you know, like he don't he he doesn't care. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like oh, that body's still there. <laughs> you know, maybe we should uh, dispose of at least the vampire's body. Mm -hmm. Just if you hear you hear you hear her say vampire, and you, that piques your interest. He gives him the rock brow. No, I didn't. Uh, I think the man said, is that the vampire? But I can't understand. He's not as full of that pie that you guys all have... Well, like, everyone except for me and Nasser have purchased. They're going to work and burn it. You can't just leave vampire bodies around here. Kind of back well, of ass. course we were going to burn it. Wasn't planning on doing anything else. Why don't you wait till your mouth's not full? 
Oh, sorry. Forgot my manners. We got all excited for a moment. I said, why don't you take it out back and burn it? Why don't, what kind of podunk town leaves vampires just laying around dead on the floor? They can get back up any minute. Yeah, I don't think this one is getting up anytime soon. This one doesn't have a head. You can never tell with the undead what's necessary and what Joseph, isn't. you just saw a scarecrow speak. Oh, my character... Oh, I guess... Oh, yeah, that's right. Your character's a scarecrow. No, oh. I meant to say that out of character. Oh. Because that... Yeah, no. Remember I kind of blew his head off? Yes, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boys. But yeah, no, Bramble hasn't actually spoken yet. It hasn't spoken yet, okay. okay. Well, still, you, you, you see amongst these people, you see a dwarf, you see three humans, and a scarecrow walking around with a possum around his neck. Scarecrow. Around his hat, or whatever. Oh, yeah, I like the idea of uh, just like Huckleberry chilling under the hat. The, under the hat? Yeah. Like, like a ratatouille? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So you guys have walked in. Joseph is. Uh, you guys have had some conversation. Do you guys continue? Uh, I guess I'll eat a slice of the the pie that I got. At this point. You're cutting out again. Am I still cutting out? Not that time. Okay. I said I'd like to just take a seat and eat a slice of the... For fuck's sake. Any, anytime you talk longer than a second, you cut out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can't, like, I don't know, reset your internet, or... I know you've already closed closed uh, Roll20 and, and opened it back up. Okay, so you, you take a seat. Which seat? Uh, just move to what seat you take. Screw it right across from him. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, human. Some pie. You should have yourself some. All right. So, mind. so Cole, as you as you take as you take a bite this 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 pie, it's also amazing. Best thing you've ever had. And you, uh, go ahead and roll me a d8 for your temporary hit points, because you gain those as well. Six temporary hit points. Wow. Nice. Five, five, six, two. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you're just not... You're resistant to this, uh, this pie yeah. with your paladin this and stuff. Yeah, maybe. That might actually be the case. It is mystery pie, after all. Right. Um, while eating it, am I able to tell what's inside of it it tastes it tastes just like what everyone else described it so far the meat the fruits the spices uh go ahead and roll me an uh, insight check though <sighs> quick thing damn it Uh, you can tell there's something else that you just can't quite place, but it's probably there's that's some sort of special ingredient that you just can't 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 place. Mm. It, it there's definitely something else besides the fruit and the meat and the spices. Um, but it's not like pie. a pie. But it's not like it, a weird maybe a special. Meat. Say that again. So it's not like a weird not meat like, at all. It, it's. It's not really weird. It, it's whatever it is is tasting, um, tasting a little off. Uh, it, it doesn't taste bad. The the extra ingredient, but it, there's definitely something to it that probably giving the the flavor that it, that it has that's so good. You you suspect it might be some sort of magical essence to it. Noted. Uh, 
Um, so yes. Um, Billy, what do you do? Uh, I guess I'll take a seat over here. I'm just kind of... Uh, at this table? All right. At this table. Castro sits there. Hell yeah, we'll uh, stay with with you guys over here. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna sit down and kind of just think about how good that pie was. Did you eat? And you ate just you ate just the slice. So yeah, far, yeah, yeah right? just the one. Yeah, just yeah. the one slice. Mm. Oh my! Ah, uh, I. Oh. Astra, are you sure you don't want any any of that pie? It's really good. Um, Astra, you you go and roll me an insight check. You said insight. What? I did. Yes, wrong. insight. Yeah, you don't put the you don't, you don't put the the uh, period. I just did that there so that I wouldn't do a thing in in the roll twenty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you. Don't really have any reason to suspect that these pies are bad, but you just have a you definitely have a bad feeling that these pies might have something um bad about them, but you just can't quite place exactly what that could be. So you might want to try some of this, but you're not sure if it would uh like maybe maybe you get the feeling that your uh your patron kind of warning you about something, but you can't quite hear her. She sounds muffled. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid it. Okay. Okay, suit yourself. Good. Yeah. My care. Yeah, Joseph will look over in in Dwarven and be like, "Greetings, friend. My name is Joseph Streamsong. What might yours be?" And she says, also in Dwarvish. Name's Helia Ironfist Force. Uh, Iron Fist. Welcome to, I guess, Hell. Uh, seems rather cool for Hell, but... If you well, we've all been trapped here for uh, almost a day now. We got pulled in through the mists, and we can't get out. We're stuck here. Yes, I thought that this, that might be the case, since I don't recognize the coin of the realm, nor does anyone else that I've met seem to know what, what the heck the Western Heartlands are. So you came here from Faerun as well? Yes. I'm from Koromir originally. But I was traveling to meet my uncle, Flint. Uh, she, she's not speaking in, uh, in common uh, at Oh yeah, he switched yeah, back yeah. to when she yeah. does. He switch back to. He's like, oh yeah, being rude. I suppose we should switch. Yeah. Yes, I was. I was leaving Cormier, uh, adventuring, saving fair maidens, smiting evildoers. Cormier, that's quite a bit west or east from where we are. Well, from where I am from, I'm from Neverwinter. Oh, that is quite. That's quite far to the north of. North Even and north of, uh, north west north. of where you're at, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah I'm have... going to squat down. Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to squat down and just poke Doru's body. <laughs> just like, like, with squish. A with the... Squish. Yep. Squish. Oh, I'm going to go get a... Uh, ask the barkeep if there's somewhere I can um, wash off my minced meat pie I covered companion here. <laughs> If you want a glass of water, that'll be one copper. I need a bucket. Do you see this thing? Just like hold him out, just like by his scruff. He looks around. He sees a bucket. puts it on the uh, puts it on the table. Wells outside. Thank you. And I'll uh give him a oh. Uh, shit, where is the closest well? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, fuck. It's out back, isn't it? I know there's one outside and to the south, but I want to see if there's any closer ones nearby. Uh, there's, there's not one just to the north and sort of on the other side of the structure from the entrance? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. You are right. I don't know how I remember that. Are one of you a wizard of some kind? It's a rather interesting choice of golem. Uh, well, I'm a cleric. Cole here, I think, is a rogue? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, uh, to the to the north a little bit. So basically, uh, Bramble, you'd he you'd head outside and then head straight north. So it, my map shows us right about right about here, but okay. yeah, you just head off to the to the well and pull up some water. So yeah, no, I just come here. And get Roll me a uh, another perception check for Huckleberry with advantage as you're pulling up the water from the well. Uh, as as you're pulling up water from the well, uh, Huckleberry smells death coming from the well. So you don't want to be watching this. <laughs> But yes, uh, Helia says that Cole, she thinks, is a rogue. Uh, doesn't think anyone else is a wizard here. Um, I'm going to oh, well, point over my shoulder and say, Billy, here is our resident gunslinger. Um, so, if you're, I you're, walk you're cutting out again, Cole. in the water, is he going to smell like death? He, he smells like decay and, and uh, like rotting flesh coming from inside the uh, the well. I'll find another way to wash him. I'm going to go back in. Okay. Tell me when I can enter again. Yeah, you can enter right now. That's fine. Give me my... I can't pick them up anymore. They hit a wall and now they just won't move. Ah, uh, yes. This one uses a weapon called a gun. Never seen one before. Gun. Like, like who? You talking about me? Yes, yes. Cole was talking about you. Ah, yeah. He said your name after all. I I was sorry. I was kind of busy poking this. Yes, we uh, know. Okay. You know what? Here. She actually walks over to Doru. She reaches down. She picks him up and thrusts him over his shoulder. And she starts walking outside. <laughs> uh, Huckleberry's trapped. I can't move him. Uh -oh. All right, so I'm gonna move. Yeah. I'm gonna move. You're I'm gonna move over to this chair over here. But yeah, she Image. she takes Doru outside. All right, she, I'm uh... done, I'm done poking. I'm done poking Doru. Yeah. See, did did not get up. Hmm. Hey, I'm well, I'm not an expert on vampires or anything. I went go to wash. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, I go ahead. Wash a huckleberry, and with the well water, but. Uh, he insisted on not being washed with that because it smelled like death. Mm. And Cuckleberry's currently going to be on the table cleaning himself. Mm. Is, is, he, is he licking himself? Like He is licking Are himself. Are you saying that out loud, him. by the way? What? what? Was she saying that out loud? I, I believe saying Ramble was saying that. If you guys uh, overheard roll, roll me a how, Roll me a stealth check to see if you were trying to be quiet or not. Me? It, or were you trying to be quiet? No. So that no one else can hear? Or you just didn't care if anyone else heard? I was just talking in a normal conversational voice. Like, okay, hey. so, alright. Yeah, you, you, you kind of heard, heard her speak. Hmm. You're, uh... Or him speak, rather. They. They. Yeah. Them. That's the first. That's the first. I've never heard a scarecrow talk. Must be some kind yeah, of power from that. It seems oddly preoccupied with some kind of large rat, though. <laughs> and you want to hear him say that? I mean, yeah, yeah that, that would be Huckleberry. Uh, a mascot. Were you being quiet, player. Frank, when you insulted my child? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect not. No. What 
Um, and I was not yeah, being I quiet when I laughed at that either. Grow a thorn in his seat. Mm. Just a little one, just enough to stab him in the ass. You, you, a little thorn. Yeah, it's like I just like look over, glance over, and then like, he gets. That's a cantrip, right? Yeah, it's cantrip. Yeah. Mm. You don't take any damage, but yeah, you feel a thorn in your ass through your through your leather greaves, through your small greaves. I'll see. I'll put my hand back there to see if there actually is anything. Yeah, there's a thorn there. Okay. It's not a very mm. thick thorn. It's it's pretty small, but. Mm. Uh, well. As someone who has Zeriel's blood in his veins, my my smites come a delightful assortment of flavors. Do you wish to be? Do you wish to gain in a contest with a oh, paladin? You, know, of I looked glory? At, you have no idea. Bramble's the one who fucking. No, you don't. You around. don't. You don't know. All Didn't you know is that there was out and like pointed it at me. No, she yeah. just looked at you. He, oh, okay. They just looked at you, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you, I thought yeah. you said she like pointed it at me. I'm no, like, she okay. she just looked at you. All yeah, right, you you, you had like, no, you have no idea. You just like what? That was weird. Thorn in my like, ass. Smite. What the heck is a smite? All right, I didn't say that then because I thought yeah. she was oh, okay. pointing it at me, and yeah. I was gonna be like, oh, okay, oh, okay. okay, no, okay. no, yep. You All stealing right. my teethlings, Azuriel Frank? Well, I did it mostly because it was big and strong. So I, I know. Out, and, I and I'm like, oh, as a paladin, I have like four different kinds of smite with this bloodline. Nice. Yeah, because she gives you. Mm-hmm. I got your thunder. I got your fire. I got your psychic. I got your radiant. What do you want? What do you want? She gives you the fire and the radiant. Yeah. And I think you already get fire and radiant as a paladin normally. Mm-hmm. Or no, you get thundering smite. Yeah, yeah, thunder, and I think. It just gives you, like, those two, you can get free spell without and using a spell slot. I'm not oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. That's what I saw on the sheet. All right. So, all right. Uh, so, rewind that. Yep, yep. Um, Must be some kind of splinter from these chairs. It takes about a minute or two, or f- about five or six minutes for Helia to do what she's doing outside. What do you guys do during that time? Eat this bomb ass pie. Are you eating all four servings or just the one? I'm going to eat an entire pie. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm a big boy. All right. Brent and Huckleberry's oh, eating an entire pie, correct? Huckleberry has eaten all but a single slice. So all but one serving. Yeah. Okay. And Billy, you eat? Are you? You eat? You ate a slice. I You're ate eating... a slice. I'm gonna eat another slice, so that leaves me with. Two, two slices, okay. Yeah. And Cole, how many slices are you eating? Just the one currently, or are you eating I more? just ate the one. Okay. And I'm kind of still staring at the pie. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark that for myself, so that I know what you guys have done. And then I will find some kind of cloth or something to wrap up the other pie before yeah. putting it in my, uh, yeah. in my I'll pack. Do, I'll do she said it's good for ten days. Yep, I'll here. do the same. So over here, are, are the pies really that good, guys? You yeah, you want you want to try it? I'll they give you other half of mine. Um, you should save your pie for you. If I oh. really need to try it, I can always eat huckleberries. Okay. Uh, I okay. offer half of my pie to. Oh, what's what's the character's name? Oh yeah, um, Joseph. Uh, Cole, Bramble, Billy, Astra, and Helia. Okay. All right. All right. So. Or are you uh, thinking Eric? I, I, I got sidetracked. I got side. No, I got sidetracked. Uh, right, greetings. My uh, my name is Billy, and like Cole said earlier, I am the res. I am the resident gunslinger. Mm. I say that to Nightbane. And yeah. what's your, what's your name, good sir? Uh. My name is Joseph Streamsong. Call, I'm called the Nightbane. Oh, nice to meet you, Sir Joseph. Would you like the other half of my pie? I'm, kind of, I'm quite full, and I, I, I see that you quite enjoy this. As you say that, you're like, you know what? I don't want to. 
It's all. It's, <laughs> yeah, you you change your mind immediately as soon as you say that. So you you say those words like, "Would you like to?" No, I take that back. I don't want to give you my pies. Wait, do, did, I, do I did I do that like involuntarily? Yeah, yeah un voluntarily you suddenly say no no hold on i don't want to give you any of my pie i want to eat this myself do i know do i notice that roll roll me an insight check i was gonna ask do i notice that uh, insight 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 no you 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 don't realize that you involuntarily said that out of character i ate an entire pie am i going to turn into some kind of pie fiend something no. will happen to you yeah. yes excellent something will happen to everyone who has eaten this pie uh, uh, Billy, I, I, or I, if you've read the book, which I think you have, you know an yeah. idea, but I've changed some of what's going to be happening. Same, same, yeah, same I figured, for, same I for, figured you changed it. Same, same for, uh, Astra. Um, K, K, I know you've read a little bit of this and you've tried running this before. I've, I've changed what the pies do, but they still do something. I mean, would they affect yeah. me? They would affect everyone still. The same. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. just because I know normally they affect people with their, they give them dreams or some shit. Correct. But I don't dream because yeah, I don't sleep. Like I won't this say would, I won't. This would be a, like a magically like... induced one, so it might still give you like a vision. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, I won't say what it is. Uh, you know. For, you, yeah. Don't met, yeah, do, do, yeah. Try do do very little metagaming gaming if at all possible. So yeah. Keep keep yeah. it. Keep it for Joseph, uh, for for Frank and for Cole to, to figure it out. All right, I'll be right yeah. back. I gotta double check and make sure the thing's not. That's fine. I'll be right back. Yes, don't don't burn things. Don't burn your house down. Mm -hmm. All I right. So. I cut out. Yes, you cut out. Uh, I Here we go. Yeah, had... Bramble's gonna take a nibble from the slice of slice of my huckleberry. All right. All right. So I'm I'm gonna Cole, Cole. You cut out again. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of go across. Sorry. Across. Us, I, uh, but hey, Huckleberry, you want more pie? Huckleberry still got one slice left. Huckleberry will die at your. Yeah, all right, so I'm, I just, I just put it down. I have. Uh, Cole, go ahead and roll me an insight check on that. Will he actually give Huckleberry the pie, or is he going to change his mind at the last moment? Yes, you did notice him as sudden, suddenly change his mind as he said that. Uh, he's probably not going to give you the pie, Huckleberry. Oh, yeah, Huckleberry's going to... But, you said Bramble took a nibble of, a, of some yeah. pie? And he can... Uh, Br Bramble can taste things, yes? Yes, I believe so. It doesn't say I can't. We can change okay. that if you think it doesn't make any sense for a scarecrow. No, it, it's fine. It's fine. You, you, he's, he's got the soul in him and everything. Mm -hmm. um, it it tastes a little bit familiar, like he's had it before. Mm. <laughs> like right, they've had it before. Now. I'm back for now. Somebody turned the oven off after I preheated it rather than put the oh, thing in the oven. No. Ooh, F yeah. Oh, no. It'll take longer now. Okay. Yeah, so do uh, do I still have my pie on the table, or did I put it back? You probably put it in your back, your pot, your backpack at this point. D did I notice? Do uh, did I notice myself doing that? You put the pie roll, away. Offered roll, Russ, roll me an insight with disadvantage. Ah, sure. Well, well you know matter? what? That's that's yeah. That uh, no, I, I mean, don't. You can't you can't, you can't get any worse than that. Yeah. Uh, we're not. We're, we don't do net ones for skill checks, though. Uh, yeah, you you didn't notice that you put it away, but you know that you put it away. You just didn't notice that you put it away. Mm. So like, okay. yeah, you My know God, it's in that's... your you know it's in your backpack, but you're like, eh, I eh. guess I guess I didn't want you. You're just eh, you guess they didn't want any pie from you. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna put what's left of mine yes. in one of my ten sacks that I've got. God damn it. There you go. Yep. You got a you got a sack in yours. I'll split the rest of my piece uh, with Huckleberry. All right. Go ahead and roll and roll a d8 for for Bramble. Go hungry for child. Offer him food and then not give it to him. Uh, you didn't have to to, but yeah, you get hit points oh, temporarily. I, didn't need to. I just have. Yeah, to that's that. that's fine. Yeah. How do I give it to everybody? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Spectrum now. Uh... 
How long did the temporary hit points last? Uh, that is a good question. Oops, that's the wrong one. Probably until a long rest or they get used up. That yeah, sounds about right. Is, I think. That's yeah. usually how temporary hit points are, unless it's specifically a time limit. Uh, 24 hours. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, so now Huckleberry has, or Bramble has no pies, uh, has one pie left, actually, if I remember that he bought two. No, I only yep. bought one. Oh, uh, Joseph bought two, that's right. I bought two, yes. Yes. Where I'm a large, hungry lad. All right, so yes, uh, Joseph had two, bought two, he has one left, yep. Bramble has none left, Billy has half the pie yep. left, yes, half, yep, half and Cole half has half uh, three, three-fourths left. After having eaten more of it, do I recognize what I noticed? Roll me a a history check for for Bramble. Boy. I'd say yeah, you recognize that you've had it before. You recognize that what made it. But I will leave it up to you if you decide to uh, uh, reveal that information. Okay. Mm. And out of character, you know what it's made of, correct? You we've been we've been talking in Discord about it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. So yeah, you 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 can choose to reveal that if you choose. I would recommend against it for story purposes, but you it. I mean, Bramble would know. So. Bramble doesn't see oh, a reason shit. to. Mention anything? Okay. Yep. Hold on. Let me get back. Unless it's a threat, he does it. They don't. They don't. They don't care. Hmm. Honestly, they don't care. They don't. Okay. So Helia walks back in. As as she walks back in, Joseph, Billy, Bramble, Huckleberry, Cole, pass out. You guys are all asleep now. Mm. Oh fuck. Helia and Astra are the only two awake. Here we go. What what happened? That they all just passed out. Literally bump bump bump. Uh I wanna say Bramble just kinda stands there and just doesn't do anything. But Huckleberry Normal Scarecrow again. Yeah, normal scarecrow again. Huckleberry, I'm assuming, is inside of his hat again. Yeah. Huckleberry is uh yeah. On the floor currently. Oh, on the floor. He was offered, he... He was offered pie and did not receive <laughs> pie. Oh, he was like he was he was all throwing a fit. Nah. All right. I so just put the rest of his pie on the floor because I didn't want it on my head again. Okay. Which I thought you could. So yes, Astra, uh, and Helia. Well, I, I'm not. I, I'll I'll respond to what Astra does. But what, Astra, you just saw everyone else pass out. Yes, and I walked over from the table I was sitting at, and I I'm saw like, that. I, yeah, in their health, they they're alive, they're breathing. They almost look like they're content, with the exception of Bramble. Uh, they look like they're happy as they're as they're uh, as they're asleep. Fucking drugs! Are we? High? Are we high? Knew something was wrong <laughs> with that pie. Well, I, I'm saying this out of character, by the way. Are we? Uh, you're something. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so yes. Oh. Yeah, you got. You guys are asleep for the next eight hours, and you guys cannot be woken by any means. Those that can dream, you what you guys are feel feel experiencing is the bet your wonderful dreams, uh, oh, happiness. Like your happy you place. Know, happy places. Uh, Billy, you you're back with your grandfather making making guns. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Joseph, you're you're saving all of these damsels, and they're giving you the attention that you want and need. Uh, Cole, you're you're playing with your father as a child again. You've never seen your father still, but you're playing with your father. Um, Huckleberry is. I don't know what is what is have, <laughs> having more pie. Yeah, he yeah. He's eating. He, he, he's 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 in a sea of pies, eating as much as he can. That was like the ultimate dream for little Huckleberry. 
and Bramble is still receiving these visions. Like he's he's seeing happy things, but he or they don't know why they're seeing this when they shouldn't be asleep in the first place. Would I be like seeing things that would make a scarecrow happy, or seeing things that would make the humans? Or the Your soul choice. Happy. Your yeah, choice. Crows in the ground on the ground. So if I'm seeing what would make the soul happy, then I'm probably seeing like bits and pieces of my past. Uh let's let's say what what makes a scarecrow happy then. Okay. Yeah. Dead ass crows. Everyone else dreaming happy things. Bramble dreaming of kidnapping crows and soul cornfields. All right. So Astra, what else do you do? I'm going to ask the barkeep if there's rooms. We have no rooms available. You will need to go to your somewhere else. Only rooms to have are for myself and for the owners. you mind if we camp out in the corner of the room? Stay as long as you like. Yeah, I was going to say good okay. luck. We can move. I'm going to... Freaking two hundred and ten pound dude in half plate armor. I mean, I, I believe Helia and and uh, Astra could both carry everyone out of here, but it's gonna take a while. I mean, you build. Well, pretty I, I think I'm just gonna carry, like, drag everyone over to the corner and lay them down on a pet. Yeah, uh, Hel Helia like, will help. Roll. Yeah, with 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 Helia, you you're definitely able to move them over. Yeah, we're just gonna drag everyone over to this corner near the fireplace and like lay people down on bed rolls. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Billy's probably the lightest out of everybody here. He's like, what, 108, 108 pounds sopping wet? Oh, Bramble's like 80 pounds. He's, he's made okay. of, they're made of, okay, like, yeah, Bram. And bone. Yeah, yeah, okay, Huckle yeah, Huckleberry, then Billy. Yeah, and, yeah, we'll put, oh, that's a pillar. We'll move Bramble there. Yeah. Over here. With, my, with all my uh, armor, and Bramble to the pillar. I'm like 350 There you go, yeah, we'll put Bramble to the pillar. We'll put we'll put uh, Huckleberry in his in his shirt or whatever. Actually, you probably guys don't even need these torches. You guys should be able to see in here pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess they're they're asleep. We can't wake them up. Not much else we can do. I guess. What should we do? We head back to the Burgomasters and and call it a night. It? Uh, well, I don't want to leave these guys here alone. Um, that's fine. We can stay here. Yeah, I think we need to stay here until these guys wake up. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's gonna be everybody. Ta everybody be taking a long rest, essentially. Um, we kind of have to. Or forced into yeah. it. Um, yeah, you guys go to sleep. Uh, Helia and Astra just kind of... They, I'm assuming they're going to take turns watching. Make sure nothing else happens. Um, yeah. Helia says she's going to go grab... Uh, and tell Eastmark and Irina what's going on. So she heads down there. And she comes back about maybe 20 minutes later. Very careful. Uh, yeah, it's, it's either, you know, go by herself and leave everyone here or, or, or go with you and leave everyone here. And I, don't, I think that was, she, she thinks it would probably be a worse idea. Yeah. But yeah. She, she heads, she heads there. She heads back. She, she's very care. She, yeah, she takes your, your, uh, your statement to, to, to kind and she's like, yeah, I should, I'll, I'll be careful. And she, she's, she comes back and she's a little, little spooked because it's definitely dark out and everything. But, uh, she, she comes back and she's like, I told them. That are that are that are aware. So, uh, yeah, you guys all camp out. Everyone gets the benefits of a long rest. Um, you still have your temporary hit points, for everyone. Um, okay. Wow. They they last for twenty four hours. So nice, very nice. So we by the time we wake up, we would have sixteen hours of temporary hit points. Uh, I would say about 15 and a half. Because it was about a half an hour since you guys got the pies. Okay. Um, 
Astra, go ahead and roll me a in, uh, insight check again. You kind of have a feeling it has something to do with the sun, but you don't know for sure what what co- what causes them to pass out. You, for all you know, it could have actually just been the pie, you know, taking effect to them. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna like as they're waking up, I'm gonna like give a head slap, I'm like fucking drugged pies. How hey, was did, I supposed did, did to know? Hear that? Did we hear him say that? I don't know. Uh, maybe a happy old lady in the middle of the street of Barovia. But we don't actually know anything about Barovia. Uh, considering everything else we've seen. Yeah, we've seen. It's just a little reason... old lady, the happy as can be. It's drugs. The, well, only, ha- the, nice, the only other nice people in this town were. Ismark and Irina, and they weren't really all that happy. You wouldn't even call them nice! They, they were friendly, yes. And they, weren't, they weren't happy and nice. She, this lady, I agree, was way too nice. I find that, that was a pretty good pie, though. Two, old people tend to come in two flavors. Curmudgeon and lovely. Now, uh, what now? You said there was that the old lady was too nice. I say old people usually come in two, one of two flavors. Curmudgeon or lovely. I don't know what curmudgeon is, I but I'll take distinct feeling that in Barovia, that's one option, not two. Wait, oh, what's... Give me some. Or, or yeah. for instead, it would normally be sad or angry. Oh, okay. I got you. I mean, I feel like, like okay. this land does not allow for happy. Hmm. Well, they didn't mean any harm, so she didn't mean any harm. So I don't like it's okay. Well, since we're all apparently awake now, did anyone point me towards a burgermeister named Colin Indrovich? I've been hired to cure his daughter. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he yeah, he did, but uh, I, I say you, he did. Is Mark in? Let me pull out my notes real quick. Irina, Irina, was that an accident, Astra? Oh, uh, that was me deciding what to get for dinner, and oh. I just needed to roll a die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, and express, no. by the way, that that's what we're gonna be getting. That sounds gotcha. good, actually. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, he's dead. But well, that is a shame as I was promised a good lordly sum, but most importantly I suppose is curing the the, the young woman. Yeah, so you, that you were that promised would be a sum from Kolyan? Have you people... seen this town? This town probably doesn't have enough money to pay you what you're expecting. Mm, true. Mm, yeah. Oh. Well, at any rate, this we're, if you know of the Burgermeister, do you know of his daughter? This note, as he pulls up this note, it says she is much pained from a wound. She, langu- she lies languishing. He, he, he pulls out a note that looks kind of familiar to you guys. It's, Wait, it's, 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 it's a well-written note. Mm. Um, it's got a seal on it. That doesn't look. Th- yeah, but he pulls out a note and do you hand yeah, it to I'd them? I pull it out and I go like put it out my my hand out in front of my. Is it is it the same like, note Here. that I have? Uh, do you do you grab it from him and read it? Yes. Uh yeah yeah and also compare it to my note. All right, so, so you you grab it and you read it. The the note that you that you guys found uh, on the dead guy, mm-hmm. um was on a like a like an old piece of paper and it looked like it was very hastily scrawled. This mm-hmm. one looks like it's on a like a well, almost like a brand new sheet of paper. Fancy um, granted, paper. fancier paper than before and mm-hmm. it very very well eloquent handwriting um very, very smooth uh handwriting and uh this is what it looks like. Okay. And the seal on it 
is not a bee. It is of a uh, like a raven or like a, some sort of a uh, of a uh, like an it's eagle. Different. It's a different yeah. one. Let me let me pull up a picture of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put it in the D and D chat because I can't put it up on. Oh, I I could put it up on roll twenty, but um, I don't have the ability to do so currently. Oh, wrong okay. one. Uh, yes, here it is. All right. So um, while you do that, this right, is I'm the going... seal that's on the letter. Okay, so I'm going to compare the two uh, two letters. Like between like the one that I have and the one that Joseph has, do I notice the difference between the two? Huge differences. Huge the difference. Handwriting's like, different. The paper's different. And um, the whole like what the message is completely the message different. Message completely too. different. Yes. Uh, yeah, you, but, okay. Do you need to see the old uh, note? I can show you that really quick. Nope, I have it. So, I, I have, have it. it. Okay. You guys, yeah, it, I have it. I I just need to know if I need to, like re re like pop it back up. But yeah, it's in the handouts there. Chapter yeah. two handouts. Uh, so like, wait a minute, Joseph. Wh- where did you, who did you get this letter from? Well, you see, it was kind of funny you ask. I was in a tavern, not too on like this in the Western Heartlands, on the way to visit. There were my definitely uncle. way more people in that tavern than this one. Yeah, yeah, it's much more full though, and very packed. Anyway, I was uh, on the way after saving. A uh, young woman from a uh, werewolf. That uh, this strangely dressed man came in the yeah. door, surrounded by fog, and he handed me a letter. And he clunked down a hefty purse and bought literally everyone in the establishment around or two. Double charming on Okay. And bade me to come. Thank you. Okay, here, getting, gave me directions, oh, thank you. and as you can see what the letter says, but clearly he was not from there, because I departed the Western Heartlands in the morning, and by noon I arrived here. Here. In but it wasn't here. noon anymore, it was about half an hour till sunset, and... Oh. You. Uh, it, it, was, it was about five hours till sunset. Okay. Okay. okay sorry. Well. Okay. I was, well no, yeah, I was, maybe three hours till sunset, but it was definitely darker than it was. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it wasn't noon, that's for sure. Yeah. And okay. I'm clearly not. I don't recognize the coin of this realm. I don't. The barkeep had no idea what the Western Heartlands or Koromir was. I don't think the barkeep said anything to you at all because he just sits there. Cleaning glasses. Well, he I he said uh, he quoted me a price for how much the uh, drink was, but he did. Well, he, besides, did. he only cared about selling you the drink. Yeah, yeah. The, okay. Your scarecrow friend seems more animate than he. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So check this out. The letter that you have, mm-hmm. the one that you got from that strange man that you said is completely different from the letter that we have. I'll, yes, it does say... It, it It looks like yours is also a letter written by Kolyan Indirovich, which is the uh, the Burgomaster. Uh, Burgomaster. Burgomaster. Say, along, same with the letter that we have. However, yours, the, me- the message on yours is completely different from the ones that we have. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so, um, I look. I look. Uh, I look at the letter. Um, Might I partake of your letter, letter then? Again? Yeah. Right? He, he, uh, do you do you let him look at your your letter? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, let me so go ahead. We kind of, kind of, you know, kind of like swap. We kind of you know, swap. Yeah. Uh, swap letters. So yes. Yeah, so, here's here's their letter. Yeah. And I I did that on a text document. Imagine it's haste more hastily scrawled than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you so you see on on our letter it's yeah, it's com- oh it's a complete it's a completely different story. Yours promises wealth and and that um Irene Irina Koliana has been afflicted by an evil so deadly that even good yeah yeah yada 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 yada. Yes. On our on but, but on our letter it's a completely it's a completely different story. Yeah. So here, come k- take care of this vampire and mine. Come take care of my daughter. 
Exactly. And it mentions no more, no mention of adoption at all. Yeah. So. I don't. I don't uh, okay, uh, Vulcan. Can I? You. Can you I remember? Tell... You remember? You remember handing that letter to either I, I can't remember if it was Irina or Eastmark, and they confirmed that it was their father's writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah that's right. That, uh, it was okay. Eastmark. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so so and regarding the letter that I have, I showed that to Eastmark. It was conf uh, he Eastmark, confirmed Eastmark that. being the the son of yeah, the East, yeah Eastmark yeah. It, yeah Eastmark is the son of Kolyan, uh, and he confirmed that the letter that I that you have right now it was actually written by him. Whereas this letter that you have, I don't know. Uh, it's clearly, it's clearly, it's clearly different it's handwriting. Clearly yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a clearly yeah, it's a clearly different handwriting. I'm going to assume it is a fake. Like, Kolyan did not write this. Somebody else wrote it, hmm. claiming to be Kolyan. I'm going to try and the crest is also different. It was the devil. Uh, I can't say I can't say for sure, but knowing what we know here in Barovia, it's a possibility. Have the you uh, the seals here? are different. Too. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I did say that. And okay, yeah, okay. the seal yeah. is different. Yeah, you can see the seal is clearly different. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I hand I I hand um the first letter back to Joseph. Thank you. Um, have you met with this young woman? You say you met with his son. Yes. Uh, Irina and Eastmark. Uh, they're at their manor at this very moment. Matter of fact, Perhaps we should, we should head there, there. Clear, uh, for further elucidation. Oh what? Uh, clear things up. So you you were cutting off. He said uh, elucidation. Uh, yeah, to, elucidation. to clear things up. But okay. isn't it dark? At, oh no, I guess it's not dark outside. No, it, dark we, out. yeah, we took a long Yeah, longer. it's it's about seven a.m. now. Yeah, we yeah uh, we should yeah we should head over to the manor and. Indeed. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yeah. from Koromir. We tend to use flowery language. I'll send. Uh, I'll try to tone it down a bit. Cole says that you uh, we should you guys should head there and that uh, he wants to see what Eastmark uh, says about yeah, the letter. I yeah. agree, but I'm I, I'm. I, well, I, don't, I just want to know if you guys could see what he's in the chat. I mean, sometimes if you guys switch back and forth between uh, journal and stuff like that, the chat doesn't pop up exactly. So yeah, I, I see yeah. it on uh, roll. It's on yeah, yeah. yeah, it's on roll twenty. Yeah, beeps. I tend I flip back over to yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's usually I usually do as well. Well, then lead the way, new uh, new friends and acquaintances. All right, I'm going to move to that map here. Give me a second. I'm going to move everyone uh, to the front door and all that. You guys can I continue talking while this is going on. You say the word. So how long yeah. till mine cuts out again? Friends, acquaintance, and objects. Yeah, it shouldn't be very long. Maybe about a couple minutes. Give or take. Ten, it's about ten minutes total. Ten minutes, okay. Yeah, yeah I still say in a few minutes, give or take. Got to move Joseph onto the map now as well. Okay. Uh, All right, so right this, this map should be not as harsh on uh, your guys' Roll20, because there's a lot of lighting on the other map, but this one should be a little easier to, to see. Ta-da! I see a lot of way. Ah, there we go. No, it's coming yes. out. Yep. Oh. Is the door open? It is not. There. The door is now open. From this building here? Or this, this is this the, is, this is the building that you guys came to. Yeah, this okay. is the building you guys came to. You guys went south. You guys went from the middle of town down this main down the main road to the south. Uh ah. this this the most southern building. All right, so you guys all arrive, and you guys all walk in, and Eastmark and Irina are, are kind of like getting their gear ready to head out. Uh, you know, they get their backpacks full, they're getting their armor. Irina's, you know, wearing, or uh, I think she's wearing just leather armor. Let me see which her armor is. Uh, breastplate. She's wearing, bre yeah, she's getting her breastplate on, and Eastmark is wearing, I think, leather armor. Splint, splint armor. Okay, so they're all getting like decked out, ready to 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 make a trip out of town. Ah, welcome, friends. Ah, 
Um, are, are, can I call you friends? I mean, you are ready to head out this morning, yes? Uh, Helia told us about what happened, and you guys had some of uh, Organta's pies. You knew about those beforehand? Well, yes, she doesn't come to town very often, but yes, her pies are, are special. They are uh, addictive. Oh, they're special, all right. I I feel I feel for you. Hopefully, uh, the they're not you don't feel they're too too bad effects of the dictatus, but uh... Adam back. Sorry, I heard knocking outside. Oh, okay. East Marker just saying that you know welcome. I wasn't sure if you could call your friends or not yet, but uh, oh okay. Heard, yeah, he he basically said that he overheard you guys had uh, eaten the pies, and basically he knows a little bit about them. Wait, okay, so what what what's what about this pie that we had? They're, they're very addictive. Addictive. Can we not move again? Okay. Um, Probably because you had to scroll the map down again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the same thing. I got it. Yeah. Okay, what Thank you. else do I'll you know? I'll have to remove the macros from you because they can get annoying, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Dilly. Yeah, I, I ask uh, I ask you, what else do you know about this pie? I I have not had them myself, but they, they are very addictive. Uh, everyone crazy for more pie. Huh. It is a good pie. Um, yes, it was indeed. I look forward to dueling all of you to the death for the remaining slice. Is this this is a new friend? Who well, who are you? I would like to introduce. Uh, what was his name? Joseph. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Joseph Nightbane Stream Song. Yes. I'd like to. Oh, I keep cutting out, so maybe I better. <laughs> you, you, do this. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. You repeat what he said. What I said. Uh, oh, Joseph, you are strange. Well, uh, looking, I guess, not so much stranger than this scarecrow, but uh, interesting. Uh, I've not seen your kind before. You are weird, the horns and things. I'm, I'm a half elf. Half elf. I don't. I, I don't think you are half elf. Uh, half elf. I've seen. I've seen elves before. There are the uh, dust elves and, and and such within Barovia. You, you look very different compared to what I expect a half elf to look like. Yes, there is a. Without being uh, too blunt about it, uh, someone back in my mother's illustrious family uh, decided to entreat with some infernal A tiefling, power. I see. Okay. Yeah. I do but not I know what that my, is, but... Uh... I don't refer to myself as that. I refer to ah. myself as myself. I, see. I don't know what that is, but... Okay. You, Good you, for you. You... You've seen tieflings before. They they're pretty prevalent in Neverwinter. They're ever they're they're not oh. everywhere, but they they oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Tieflings are pretty common. You know, half elves, elves, wood elves, dwarves, halflings, uh, dragonborn even. Um, yeah. They're they're fairly common in Neverwinter. Uh, mm -hmm. There's there's not there's not a lot of races that aren't common in Neverwinter. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you don't see a lot of uh, gnomes or you know centaurs or anything like that, but you s yeah, tieflings are are common enough that you've seen plenty of them before. Uh, what about in Leylon, since that's where I was raised? Not at. as not as common, but since you spent most you, you spent most of your time in Neverwinter, especially with your uh, your partner, you, you would recognize them. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Leylon, not as many. There are were a couple, maybe like. Total, maybe a total of like five or ten. Mm -hmm. but... Well, are are we heading out this morning, or do you you still need to accomplish a few more things in town? What we require right now is a bit of elucidation, good sir. And I'll take my note out and put it down on the table in front. Oh, of the... yeah. I, I've already wait. That letter does not look the same. He mm -hmm. picks it up. This. Yeah, this it's is a obviously fake. a fake. Yep, this is I knew it. I knew it. He looks. He looks at the symbol, and his eyes go wide. Oh no! Where did you get this from? 
<laughs> a strangely dressed man who was clearly not whom he appeared to be. Or perhaps he appeared to be exactly who he was. He's very, very fancily dressed, you say? Yes. Mm. Is, is it probably, who I think he, it is? He's probably one of the Vistani. Oh. Some Vistani are known to work for the devil. This oh. is the devil's yeah. crest. He points to the well, crest. That's Well, Cole, his. looks like... Well, there's your answer, Cole. Yep. There's Not there's all of the Vistani are known to work for the devil, but there are groups that do. Mm. They and the, 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 the Vistani are the only ones allowed to travel out of Barovia. Wait. I sit did down. You, 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 did you just say they're allowed to leave Barovia? Yes. They are the only ones allowed to leave Barovia. They have some sort of connection to the devil. And mm. his I'm gonna control... I'm going to stop using that word. I we do not say his name and and it names are powerful for vampires you see. And if uh, I were to say his name, he might take a look upon our, our fair village and attack and maybe even a, 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 assume. Uh, trying to use the words that I can't think of, but try to take Irina from us, and we do not mm -hmm. wish that to happen. And she is not injured in need of healing. She seems fine to me. So I am, well, I am yeah. and she she says, I am perfectly fine, yes. I have been shooken this past week with the attacks of Parma or Manor, but I am fine. We buried our father yesterday with the help of these fine folk. My condolences. We have, I appreciate it, thank you. So, why would a powerful vampire lord willingly summon a paladin to his realm? Perhaps he wishes to play with he, he there are many adventurers that come to this come to Barovia over and over again. Uh, over a year ago, there was a huge uprising. Many Barovians and Vlachians attacked the castle. And terrible things happened. When I was a child, I saw more uh, adventures come. And mm -hmm. you never see them again. Uh, oh. During every night at midnight... The spirits rise up from the graves in, in the church, and they walk towards the, the castle. They're all spirits of dead adventurers from from before. And Perhaps when did you... spirits that, that rise up from the graves at midnight, every night. Every night. Every night at midnight. So what, you guys you're... couldn't see because you guys were passed out. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we were we Astra, and Astra and Helia didn't see either because they were inside the the uh, common tavern room. with you guys. Yep. Yeah. Um. But yes, these these spirits they, they rise up and there are many many adventurers, paladins, warriors, uh, rangers, uh, clerics, all sorts, all sorts. They, their spirits rise every night at midnight, and they they march towards the castle. Yeah, it is, is my. Said, you, yes. you said, you said when you were a boy, you saw two adventurers carrying a similar, a like similar kind of weapon as I have, like this firearm. Yes, exactly, Cole. Perhaps you were just game to him. Huh. So. Uh, do those? Do you see those spirits as well? I do. I do not watch the spirits. They they are common occurrence. It's, it's it's very disheartening to watch. So, I. So I do, what you're saying I, is there's this hundreds entire, of them. This entire kingdom is run 
and terrorized by a vampire lord who's captured pretty much an entire kingdom of, full of people. Well, he trapped them. He in the didn't fall. really capture all of us, but he. So what I know isn't very much about the devil, but I think if I remember correctly, he conquered this land ye many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago. And when he became a vampire, he changed the land and he became the Lord, the Dark Lord over us. You said and became a vampire, so he wasn't originally that's, a vamp that's, vampire? That's a belief. I do not know if it's true or not. It's a story that I might have heard from one of the Vistani before. I do not remember. These are, these are very old stories that I have heard. Hmm. And if someone were to kill this vampire, then they would no doubt be one of the most famous heroes in your entire country for pretty much ever, correct? I mean, that's a possibility, yes. I... But you, I, he gets a huge Cheshire grin across his yeah, face. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> Excellent. But right now, my my one goal is to get Irina out as far away from his castle as possible. Perhaps once we get her away, he will no longer have control to see her, to affect her, to, to terrorize us. If you would please take her. My father is bedded. I will take, I will protect this town the best I can. Elia says, I'll stay as well. You need a new priest right now until they bring one back. I'll stay as well. Thank you. I appreciate it, Elia. So yes, please, take my sister. Go to Valaki, at least. Preferably Kresk. Get her as far away from Star... From <clears throat> he almost said his name. He, he, he kind of stuttered over his words. The devil. And get her as far away as possible. Can we, can we roll like a history or a something based on what he almost said? Uh, you, you definitely hear him almost say the name. Yeah, no, I mean to recognize the name, though. Oh, uh... uh or mean, is it just a completely different realm? No way you know who this dude is. You kind of probably thing. wouldn't know who that guy is. Okay. Yeah, um, but the other people have heard his name before. Mm -hmm. So you can okay. ask them um, later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, the devil is... Do not I say asked, his name I very asked... loud... You, yeah. you you may say his name. Just do not say it very loud. No, uh, no, no. I'm, I won't say his name. But you say he's the one. He the devil is the one on the uh, on the coins that we receive here in Barovia. Correct. That is his visage. Yes. Okay. So I take out I take out uh, one of my coins that has his face on, and I show it to Joseph. And it looks exactly like the coins that uh, the bartender gave you for your change for your yeah. gold. I have a few. Yeah. I have a few of those. He takes. Yes, out. that he... is him. That is the de That is the devil. Hmm. On, on the back the of the coin, not... on the back of the coin is the same um, uh, crest as well. That's on my new think, letter. Um, yeah, on the letter. Yeah, as, as what's on, it's on your letter. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Most excellent. We're gonna die. Yeah, we know we know nothing of. I say devil. that in character. You say we or you? You. Oh, oh. Two, you, you say to you say to Joseph, you're going to die. You're yeah. going to die. I am a paladin of the oath of glory. This is a dream come true. And not only that, the chance to finally eclipse my mother's fame and glory. What more you can I ask for? Reason. He would have let you come here as if he knew he could kill you. Yeah, you, you're you're in a little you're in a little now, over your head, buddy. Die. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to agree with Huckle with uh Bramble. With Bramble here. You're in a little over your head. 
I'm not saying I'm going to march up to his tower this evening, but yes, I'm definitely not going you anywhere. You missed the hundreds of adventurers who tried to kill him in the past and died? They weren't stream songs. <laughs> no, some of them were probably better. I doubt that very much. I, I like I like you. You'll probably be the first one to die, but I like your enthusiasm. You guys see what Cole says? Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I see it. Face you put into the gaining of glory. glory. I'm a paladin of the oath of glory. I put all of it. Hey Cole, how much you want to bet he dies first? <laughs> Frank. I'll I'll put a gold on it. Let's let's not worry about us dying, or you dying. Please take my sister, or if you All have right. other things to do in town, get them done so that you may come back and and escort my sister out of town. Please, I beg of you. I mean, I I ta got nothing better to do. It it will take you two days tra travel time almost to get to uh, Valaki at the very least. Okay. Whoa! I thought you said it was a day. Uh that was. Uh, before he realized, uh, he had to change because he realized distances. I, I made some changes. Eastmark mm -hmm. said he did say before a, a, a day. So, yeah, actually, yes. Everyone go and roll me yep. a insight check. Yeah. So. I remember. 14. All right. 14. Uh, 9. 14. Uh, everyone, I, I guess Joseph doesn't really. Yeah. I'll, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, Bramble. That's my insight. There it is. I was gonna. I don't want much care for virtual dice. They're <laughs> doing too good. That's fine. Um. So, yes, you guys all realize that he he did say a day, mm -hmm. but he's completely convinced it will take two. He's and he's telling the truth. So, wh why is it gonna take two? Land it. It it will take. It's it's a very long trip. It will take you. A, a day to reach almost the Sir Falls uh, bridge. It will take you almost another to make it to past uh, the windmill. Is there somewhere we can like, rest and hide out from you know the things that go bump in the night? There is a camp uh, of Vistani at, the, at Sir Pool, but it, it is less than a day's trip. Uh, you you might... You're, there's no really place to... to 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 uh to stay safely, um, but with a, with all of you together, you probably can hold off m oh, most things that ha that uh, go bump in the night in Barovia. Hmm. Plus, he looks over at Joseph. You sir of the morning, Lord. Perhaps he can protect you as well. My blessings tend to be more offensive than defensive, but I'm sure there is room well, within the case. Sometimes the best defense is the is a great offense. That's my motto. Uh, yes, Cole. You you actually um, hear? Uh, no, I won't do that yet. Yeah, you still have your feeling at the moment, but I won't go into detail until you guys leave about that. But it's it's is it, is it oh fuck yeah we'll we'll go we'll go over that later yeah I put I hear I heard you perfectly fine actually what you were about what you were saying just oh, now I saw my yeah. drop, so I thought I was screwed uh, I was gonna ask is no. it like stronger is it like is it the same it's it's about the same as of right now um I heard somebody say they were staying behind. Uh, that was Helia. Just Helia? Just Helia. Well, and Eastmark. Eastmark has to, to, to run his town. Yeah, so we, we're going to have to take Irina over to Valaki. Well, I was going to tell Eastmark to be careful. I believe I remember overhearing that Huckleberry said the, the well smelled like death. Oh, the well. what did? Oh, he what now? Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Um, when I went to uh, give Huckleberry a bath because he was covered in that pie, uh, he, he didn't want to use the water because it smelled of death. What do you mean? Like, 
it smelled really bad. Like, there's like dead bodies in there, or it like... smelled like rotting flesh. Perhaps I can help with that. Well, there is the the matter of the undead that plague this town. Did you guys not dealt with that yet? You, you guys that. asked me where Dolan Nietzschekov lived, and he lives just two houses down the street from the, from us currently. Yeah, we never really ch- checked there yet. We meant to. We you, just didn't have time. Oh, that's right. You ate those pies. Yeah. 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 Well, perhaps he is. You can go talk to his family and and see what happened. Maybe get to the bottom of what what caused it. You don't mind waiting another day. I we will wait as long as necessary. Irina and I will stay here until you are done. Well, I will stay here regardless, but you will stay here until you are done. Oh, well, what very do we do? well. And I guess we'll investigate. All right. So, for brevity's sake, um, you guys are going to head out. Let's go ahead and take like a 10 minute break here. Give everyone some time to wind down for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 8 o'clock, my time. And we'll we'll come back in about 5 or 10 minutes. Go to the bathroom. Go do what you guys need to do. Um, normally, I would have done this at about 7.30. But we were getting kind of that story. So, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll do it now. And uh, uh, go to the bathroom, get some to drink, eat some food. Um, uh, go get your guys' Panda Express. And uh, we'll be back in about five or ten minutes. All right. All right. I'll be back.